Hello everyone! Today I'm going to show you guys how to do beachy waves with a curling iron. So I'm going to start off by turning on my Revlon curling iron. I'll leave the link down below. I've used this before in my other videos. So I just want to show you guys how to do beachy waves with this curling iron. I'm going to spray my hair with the Wella heat protectant spray. All the products and tools I am using, I'm putting it down below in the description box. I've never tried it on myself, I've only done it on other people. So we'll try it out and let's see how it is. Oh. To have those beachy natural waves, the curls are gonna be alternated. That way it looks more of a natural look. This is also good with people with thinner hair because it will give them more volume. So I'm going to take my one inch curling iron. So I'm gonna curl this first part away from my face. So the curls basically have to look tight like this. And I'm leaving out the ends. If you want it a little bit curled, you can go over it again. This I'm going to curl away from my face as well. So from here, you're going to turn it. And after that, you are going to slide it. That way it has a little bit of a twist and it's very tight. So again, so while you're sliding it, it's also twisting the hair like so. and then you slide it out. Just leave it and let it cool. Don't comb it out with your fingers. You just have to get used to the technique of how to slide it out. So while you're sliding it out, you're also turning it. You're also turning it, also. So again, I'm just going to turn it. And as I am turning it, I am sliding it out and twisting the barrel. I hope this makes sense. <laughs> so see, it's twisting. Like that. You want the waves to look more natural. You want it to look more like your hair is naturally wavy. So you're taking little sections. So again, I am twisting it as I am sliding it down. Like that. I'm really excited to see how this is going to look. So the barrel is facing the front and the clamp is facing the back. So you are curling your hair towards your face. I know a lot of people have been waiting for this video. Here it is, finally. All right, so those we are going to let it cool and I'm going to work on the next section. I usually like to part my hair in three sections. For people with finer hair, you can do two sections or even three if they want. I'm going to do this again. So I'm gonna take another section. So I'm going to curl it away from my face. All the hair that's closer to my face, I'm curling it away from the face. So as you are curling it, you are also twisting it. Now this section, I'm gonna curl this away from my face as well. And then the next one, I'm curling it towards my face. So if something happens like this, you just take it out and you just redo it. So you're sliding it 
just <laughs> sliding it down. The next section I'm curling it away from the face so I'm just gonna keep alternating away from my face and towards my face away from my face towards my face you guys should get it by now If you don't get the ends like this, you can just fix it up. So just undo it, the ends, and then go over it with the curling iron again. You just keep repeating the steps over and over again. So the first two sections I curled away from the face and then the third section I'm curling it towards the face and then after that section I'm curling it away from the face and then you just keep doing, you just keep alternating away from the face and towards the face. So you just repeat that over and over again. So the point of a beachy wave slash a natural wave it's not supposed to look perfect. So this would also work for curly hair. If you already have curly hair, you can even just go over your curls with a curling iron and do this exact technique. That way it'll look more like a natural look. I'm so excited to see how this is going to look. Almost done. I have about two to three sections left and then I'll have to wait for all my curls to cool and then I will comb through it with my fingers. I'm just gonna let it cool for about two minutes and then I will comb it through. Okay, so now I get to comb it out. I'm going to use my Olaplex number seven. Lightly comb through it with your fingers, not all of it. Ooh. Oh my gosh. Wow. Just lightly comb through it with your fingers. Don't comb through all of it. Because if you comb through all of it, it's just all going to stick together and it's not really going to look more like a natural look. Oh my gosh. I like this. Let's see this side. This side has more hair. I'm usually worried about this side more because I have more hair on this side and I feel like sometimes it's too poofy for me but I love it. Oh my gosh. Wow. Wow. Oh wow. I'm obsessed. Okay. 
my roots are a little are flat but you know what oh well because I love this So, of course, if you want more natural beachy waves, you have to use a texturizing spray. This is very important. It will help you keep your curls and it will look more natural. It's basically like hairspray. So you just spray it everywhere. Oh my gosh, I love it. feel like a mermaid <laughs> I'm actually going to do this style a lot it takes a long time for me to do this especially since I have too much hair but yeah this is gonna last me like a whole entire week like I don't even think I need to wash my hair after this throughout the whole week it's going to obviously deflate and and um get looser i can't think uh yeah so if that's okay too and i really enjoyed doing this to my hair thank you guys for watching i hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as i enjoyed doing my hair today and please subscribe to my video if you haven't already and don't forget to like this please this is i feel like this is my favorite one of all the other videos <laughs> but yeah so thank you guys comment down below and let me know how you like this hairstyle rate it from 1 to 10 enjoy enjoy doing this style all right thank you guys bye